Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is day two of a pure rain. It is wet out there and it is green. It is like almost the middle of July and it is green, you guys. Green. Usually we're at the stage now where everything's starting to brown up. Hi, little man. All right, tell me the truth. Is he getting cuter or am I just falling in love? But I think he looks like he's getting cuter. Does he look cuter? I don't know. He looks cuter. That big snout always threw me at the beginning. Yes, I'm bringing you breakfast. Yes, I am. You know what's so weird though? I like have so much joy in me right now. Like so much joy and I can't even get over it. It's like the more I advance on this spiritual journey that I'm on, the happier I am. It's the weirdest thing, let me explain. I used to complain about everything, you guys. I used to complain if it rained too much. I used to complain it was too hot outside. I used to complain if bad things happened. I used to complain if probably if good things happened. Like, if things didn't turn out my way, I would complain. And I never thought I was like pessimistic. I always thought like, I was just saying like, you know, the bad parts of stuff. But in the end, what I learned was that when you're always talking about the bad stuff, then those are the things that you see. Once I stopped and I stopped seeing all the bad stuff, I only see, started seeing the good stuff. Everything changed for me, like in a massive drastic way. Like I am happy all the time now, like so happy. Like <laughs> I was always aware that that was how it was supposed to be. You were always supposed to just see the good stuff. I always knew that, but I found it really hard and I don't even know why. Once I stopped seeing my way and started following God's way like once I like I stopped seeing the bad stuff as bad stuff and I started seeing it as God's way and now I just let God decide everything like everything like even with Sophie's horse I'm like you know what God I'm gonna give it up to you I'm just gonna be happy I'm gonna look I'm gonna wait and whatever happens happens because I know God's way is the best way little miss cricket escaped this morning usually I feed them in their stall and then I and then I give the baby her bottle and every once in a while Cricket will just escape. So she finds food wherever she wants. This is where she found her grain today. But anyways, I always see the good stuff now and it just I just feel so happy. And if I had one wish for you guys, I would wish for that for you. Because once you only see good, holy moly, it's insane. And then once you're around people that only see bad or that still see bad. It is so hard to be around them because you just know such a better way. Like it's it's crazy the way life can change. And it's crazy that you can go your whole life seeing things one way and then you're like suddenly almost 55 years old and you can see things, and you see things completely differently. Never stop learning. Anyway, I wanted to tell you guys about Little. I wanted to give you guys an update on Little Miss Toffee, also known as uh, Starla. Because I call her Starla because she just tells me her name is Starla. Hi, Crick. <laughs> Anyways, so this is Starla. This is, Sophie named her Toffee, but I call her Starla. And uh, you guys know when I got her, she was a bit small. Even when I picked her up the first time, I was like, wow, she's really tiny. She was like a quarter of the size of our babies at that age, all of our boys. And she was one of four. So typically, if you have four babies, you'll supplement them to keep their weight up. But, okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're crashing the whole place. Get down. Get down. Anyways, um, she was small. She's short, but she was it, she was not skinny. I didn't want that for her. I wanted her to be a bit bigger. I felt that she needed to be bigger to be healthy. So even though she was weaned when I bought her and she had never taken a bottle, she was damn raised. When I brought her home, I was like, I gotta get her on a bottle. I thought it was the only way to really make sure that she was healthy because milk is going to be like the first thing that the milk is going to be what's going to like help her gain weight and help her um be healthy so i literally thought it was going to be a fight because you guys know that when babies are damn raised it's really hard to get them on a bottle it's really hard to get them on a bottle so i covered her eyes put her on my lap because she's super friendly covered her eyes stuck the nipple in her mouth for a second she was like and then because her eyes were closed she didn't know what nipple it was she probably did but that's the theory she didn't know what nipple it was and she started sucking and she got the milk and it made her feel like home it made her reminded of her mom gave her the nutrition that she needed i was so so grateful to be able to give this 
already weaned baby milk every day. She started out with three bottles a day and now we're down to two bottles a day and she is thriving. All she's ever done here is thrive. She's doing so good. That milk has just like turned her completely around. And she is happy and healthy and doing a fabulous. I'll try and show her to you guys again for a second so you can see, but she is in great shape. Um, almost within a week, I could see a difference in her and she's only thrived since we got her. Look at that belly, you guys. Look at that belly. She is in such good shape. Her little hips, <laughs> she's even got fat on them. Yes, you are thriving. She's still short. She's grown a lot in height. I've noticed that some goats grow this way though. Like some have really long spindly legs and they just shoot up when they're born. And then I've noticed others take time. They get a little bit fatter first and then they shoot up. Like Cricket is like that too. Anyway, there's Starla. She's thriving absolutely thriving and doing fantastic lola we gave her to lola lola mothers every single baby that we ever bring here she mothered cricket she mothered this baby she'll like take care of anybody she's such a mom and that's like her use for us in our herd because we're not going to breed her so that's what she's going to be she's going to be the mom to all the babies that we either buy or that that we need for some reason she's going to be the mom to them obviously she won't be able to nurse them but she takes them under her wing and protects them and makes them feel like a family. There she is. <laughs> She's like, bring me my babies right now. <laughs> She's such a good goat. Such a cute goat too. I have a feeling that she was registered. I should also mention that when you give your expectations and your 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 thoughts up to god and you let him lead you you learn really quickly that he has his plan for everybody's life not just yours and so things like starla's mom she didn't supplement she let the dam raise her and that's i understand that that's her choice and her business it has nothing to do with me so even though i felt starla was a little small when i got her it didn't matter to me like Everyone should do what they feel confident with and what they feel is right for them. I always believe that people are doing the best they can with what they have and that's enough for me. It's enough for God. He, we all make mistakes. We all do things differently than maybe he would want, but he still lets us do it. He lets us learn from it. There's a learning in every single situation and that's what... And that's what's important to me is that everybody has the opportunity to learn the way God wants them to learn. And that's why I try not to judge other people's choices ever. And once I stop doing that, or once I like mostly stop doing that, because it's a hard thing to stop. But once I stop doing that, holy moly, it opened up a whole nother level of happy in me. Hey, Cricket. So do you guys remember Cricket was so short when I got her? And now she's like, she's got short legs, but she's growing. Something really creepy just happened. Listen. Oh, just happened again. Did you hear it? I feel like it's coming from that camera. That is spooky as heck. Listen. Did you guys hear it? What the heck is that sound? That is creepy. Hello, chickens. <laughs> what do you guys need? You need fresh water? Selfie's going to get fresh water. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. It makes me laugh so much when all these chickens are staring in at the new chickens. So this is what we do each day. We put, we leave our regular chickens in this side so they can go in and out. And then we leave all the new turkeys and the new ducks. <laughs> quack, quack. All right, we leave them in this section. Wow, that was loud. So that they can all get used to each other. So that when we are able to open this door, and let the, the when we're ready to let the new guys in with the old guys it'll be less stressful but i'm not joking it'll still be stressful because chickens are mean like i hate mean animals but they're all mean all animals are mean not all animals pigs are gentle and kind but look at that rooster back there he like in real life he is so beautiful like he's so he has so much jet black on him like jet jet black and then he has like the red and stuff and the orange. He's just so, so pretty. Get in there. Get, oh no, get in. These are all the eggs I get each day, you guys. There's probably 300 eggs outside somewhere. 
probably more than 300 eggs outside. I think that chicken got broody again and she wants to lay on the... I love watching the turkeys. I could just watch the turkeys all day. Do you see the difference in the way that... See, I have two girls and a boy. See the boy here? I think I have three. I have another turkey in another area. I love the girls. Anyway, the reason I like that other duck... Uh, the other water works better for the ducks because they don't make as much of a mess. And yes, they are going to have a pool, but nobody puts pools in their brooders. So brooders, usually pools are when they graduate and they go outside. The reason it's so important for the chickens to get to know each other through the fence is because once these chickens go outside for the first time and the ducks, if they feel like the environment is hostile, like if the... Uh, the old chickens are hostile. They won't come back in. It's been raining this whole entire day again. Do you guys hear that saw sound? The city is cutting down that tree. You know the tree that it collapsed on our fence line the other day? Well, the city came and they're cutting it down. Dad is at a doctor's appointment and then Sophie's coming out in just a second. So today on the Day by Day Farm, we're going to put... That ended to a mystery. We're gonna find the conclusion to this awful mystery. I'm frustrated about it and it has to get done today. Sam and Sophie put the chickens in and out at night and in the morning. So I keep asking them to follow the chickens and figure this out, but they never do. So today we're just gonna figure this out, all of us. We have to find out where the chickens are laying their eggs because I'm getting like three eggs a day all the time now and I usually get about 12. So, and it's been ever since they've been coming outside here. So, for sure they have an egg laying place and I don't know where it is. Lead me to your eggs, little chicken. Go get them. Go get them, Ellie. Molly. Go get the eggs. She's gonna get the pylon. Go get, get the eggs. Get the get eggs. Get Don't get the pylon. <laughs> you were right. How did you know? <laughs> she brings them all. Do you guys remember there was a time when we had all these pylons? <laughs> and then Molly chewed them all up. So now we don't let her play with the pylons. Why'd you let her play with the pylons? You encouraged it. I didn't encourage it. So we're just waiting for Sophie and she's going to come and help us. But I don't know. I don't get it. Like, I have no idea. We've looked out here so many times. Imagine that's where they were though. Gabby, come here. You gotta go back here and check. No. Come on. Yeah, it's all wet. It's been raining for two days. So the reason that I can't let any new chickens and turkeys out. Wait a minute. I saw something. Oh, there's a chicken. Ah, you guys, I bet you it's got to be in this area. All right, Gabby's going over. Gabby, they're this way. I know it. First one to find them wins. See, look at that little chicken. You see her come back? Guaranteed she was out laying an egg. Either they're laying them out here and then something's coming and eating them because that's what I would do if I was a wild animal, especially raccoons, they love to eat the eggs. Oh, I missed it. Uh, that was so cute. Molly just jumped that fence and was like levitating in midair. We're all waiting for Sophie because we are gonna try and trick her into going in here. All right, come here, I'll tell you what we're doing. What? I know, little toad over there, our little pure white call duck. You're getting a friend soon. All right, listen, we need you to climb into there and find the chicken eggs. Yeah. I already went looking in there before. It's well, I late. figured it out. I saw a chicken come out, so I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Why is she? It's all wet. Yeah, I'm not getting wet. You You're, do it. You have no socks on and you have crops. You're fine. She has the same thing. She can do it. I know. I'm the adult. I'm the child. She's not flexible enough. I'm not flexible. I'm old. And you know how what happens. Cool. No, I break. If I fall, I break. So you're you're the one. Come on. No. Come on. In there. This is where I needed to have another boy. Because a boy would go in there. Just get yeah. Jacob. We need the eggs. I need to rescue my eggs. All right. Okay, like if we find them. I don't either. They're stuffed so, in. So, yeah. If we find them, who's going to carry them all? Not me. Because I'll be dropping them all. Oh. Hey, all right. <laughs> All right, let's see you do it. Wait, I gotta find a no, new space to stand. There's a fence. This is, this is creepy. See, that's how you do it. Going to fall over. Gabby, we could've just left her to do it. No, you guys are coming too. Help, help. <laughs> Girl, I already did this before. Come on, Molly, get the eggs. <laughs> Molly, you go first. 
Yeah. Molly and Allie go first, the brave ones. Find the eggs. Oh, like underneath here are all these. Hey, look, a chicken. Where? What the heck are you doing out there? If you're outside the fence, the eggs could be anywhere. <laughs> what? What is that though? What is it? It's a big black thing. Rock, maybe? I don't think it's a rock. That is 100% a rock. Yeah, it's a rock. <laughs> All right, so I saw a chicken come out of here. Oh. <laughs> I hate it. All right, Molly, do you see any eggs? Look at it, it's all trampled down in here. Oh. If I get poison ivy because of this, there's no poison ivy. You sure? How would you know that? You've never been here. <gasps> Maybe I found it. <sighs> nope. I don't think you found it. Nope. Oh, man. All right, let's go that way. We'll follow you now. Lead the way, Gabby. Lead the way, Gabby. Get your dog. That's what I did. You go first. No. Look at Toad. He's wide the door. He's just cute little waddlers. Get Ellie, Molly to go first. I'm telling you. He's my favorite dog. And Gus is my favorite dude. There's a lot of rocks in here. Oh my God. Hi, Toad He's cute, man. I don't like this at all. Whoever finds it gets 50 bucks from Mom. Well. All right. Well, this isn't going to help. You can tell they haven't gone that way. Oh. Alright, go just, back. No, go back. No. Go. Just keep going. No. Ellie's just loving this. It's so wet. Yeah. It is all wet. I can hear my phone buzzing in my All gross. Okay, go, man. Stop Wait. Stop stop it. Stop it. I have to stop. No, you don't no, you have don't. to. Fall. Okay, go this way. What? Look, this is the path. Gabby, why? Nobody should let you lead. This is the path. She takes us down there. The dog stick us down there. All right, Sophie, you go first this time. But why? Aww. Our girlies are coming. And a boy. I love when I see Lady and Penny together just wandering around. So this is new. Look at this, you guys. Oh, look, Storm and Penny. Something. Oh, Storm and Lady. Uh-oh. Storm and Lady were kissing. Um, but look at it this. Is like all tried to get out. It does. Time. It looks like it's all dug up on both sides of the fence. It looks like somebody tried to get in. Somebody tried to get out. Who do we think it is? Raccoon. You think it was a raccoon? Um, what do you think? Chicken couldn't do that. Pig couldn't do that. A uh, pig could totally do this. No, their noses are flat. It doesn't matter. They can clear all land. So hopefully it's not my pig because... Your pig goes through the gate. I know, but she always comes up with dirty nose. It might be honey. Is that honey or Gracie? I can't even tell anymore. Are you stuck We're just wa wandering around looking for eggs. Well, thank you for doing that in front of me, Miss Pony. Is she actually... Is she yeah, actually... She's like down at a little hill. Horses what do are. I do? You gotta roll her over. If I roll her over, she's into the fence. Listen. She just did it. Not a good idea. Oh. My front legs. Now push she it. she cast herself. I know. Are you not gonna try? She says no. I'm sunbathing now. She's actually like she's dying. How long was she here for? She just rolled. She literally just rolled. Okay, so you got to get her over. She can't lay like that for a long time. No, she can't actually. I will. See people doing it, but like I don't want to. She's heavy. Hold this. And you think I'm stronger than her? No, but I think two of you together will be strong. Okay. Let's go. There you go. That was a dumb place Don't to roll. Don't roll there. <laughs> That's like the second time any of our horses have ever. And it was both her. She's gotten stuck two times. Oh, well, I was thinking of um, another horse one time. One time we filled Stella's stall when she was recuperating from something. I forget. We filled her stall like with so many shavings. We banked it. We made like big, huge banks on all sides, three sides of the walls. And then we left it like flatter in the middle. We banked it and we made it so comfy for her because that's what they say is the best thing to do so that horses don't get cast. That was back when I was paranoid about horses getting cast. 
and she got cast because the the banks that we did were like little hills she couldn't roll she couldn't use the whole stall so i, I never did that again yeah nobody else was there thank goodness we were here though because she was laying like down a hill look it's right there too the digging oh my gosh something is really digging up the property i have my my fears but um that's the second time honey got cast because before like the first time she was a really baby and she rolled under the wall of her stall were we there no i was and dad but dad didn't see i mm. just went in there and fixed it ellie the grass in this field is growing great I'm literally so disappointed that I can't find all the eggs. I know there are hundreds of eggs out here someplace. Either something's taking them, like a raccoon at nighttime. Don't do it again. Oh my gosh, she's gonna do it again. Anyway, uh, the farrier comes today to do lady's feet. I'm super excited. She's getting a reset. Uh, because Sophie is getting ready for a horse show and it is coming so super fast, you guys. So we gotta wake up at five. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And hope my horse goes on the trailer. Oh no, you should maybe practice that. How was she did? Oh, we didn't bring her here. She got dropped off. Hi guys. Scared I scared you. It's time to get your feet done. Too dark in here. She stops walking if she has a fly mask. Yeah, she's like. Oh, Please, I can't see. It's too dark. It's crazy to me how like animals are in heat. Our goats never go near the boys. Never. And then for three days, every once in a while, they'll be like at that fence all day long, just trying to get to the boys. Same with the horses. Storm is like so much shenanigans go on when one of the girls is in heat. So much shenanigans. But the rest of the time, everything's fine. Yep. I knew it. Yep, your horse is in heat. I know. How'd you know? Because. Because why? She doesn't like storm. She likes storm today. I know. <laughs> That's how you knew. The pig doesn't go near the other boy pig ever. Like, she doesn't have anything to do with him. She doesn't want anything to do with him. Every once in a while, zoom, she's on that fence, teasing him and trying to get him to come over to her. But literally, our species is not like that. Or we keep them around even when we don't need them, I guess. But yeah, animals are so funny. Like, I learn a lot living on a farm. So do my kids. Because you're getting little fairy knots. Don't you know that you're beautiful?